Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at cloud gaming with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. But rather than playing on a mobile phone or Android device, we're going to be using an Oculus Go VR headset. Now, you can also use this for Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 when that releases. So basically, instead of using the mobile phone, you can use a cinema environment inside the VR headset to play on a giant screen, which is much better than using a smaller screen, although perhaps less detailed looking, depending on what headset you're using. So the first thing you're going to need to do using my guide that I've posted here is create an organization. Now, anyone can do this. You don't have to have any special privileges to set this up. So go to dashboard dashboard.oculus.com I'll leave all the um, description in all the links in the description so you can easily click that and then just type in whatever name you want to choose click the I understand and then submit and then that's it you're done your organization is set the next thing you're going to need to do is download the oculus ADB drivers so basically from this link here Tick the box and then just download. And then once it's downloaded, unzip that package. So once you've downloaded the drive, <laughs> go into this folder here and select Android underscore slash win USB. Select it, right click and then click install. Once that's done, which is, takes mere seconds, you're good to go. Now, the next thing you should try and do is you need to download SideQuest. But once you've done that, You'll need to then enable developer mode on your VR headset. So you're going to have to use the app on the mobile phone. Connect your VR headset to the app, as you can see here. Then you'll need to go under more settings and then select developer mode under that particular setting and enable it. Once you've done that, then you're all set. The next thing is to do is to connect your USB cable to the VR headset to your PC. And what will happen is when you do that, you'll get this pop-up inside the VR headset. Click the um, always allow from this computer so you don't have to keep doing that and then click OK in the VR headset, of course. And then once you've done that, you are good to go. Now, one caveat is that if you're using a different cable um, to the one supplied for your VR headset, it may not be detected by Windows 10 PC or whatever you're using. So always use the correct cable, which will save you a bit of headache. So once you've done that, you're ready to now load up the SideQuest software, which is here. Now, once you're connected to that software, it will now enable you to sideload any apps into your VR headset when it's connected to your PC. So with your Oculus headset switched on and connected to your PC, you go to this file here, install APK file from a folder on computer. So the file you want is this one here, Xbox Game Pass. So you'll download that and put it on your desktop or in your downloads folder. And then from the app here. So basically you install from the file, click that, and then just do it from the file here, which is that one open and it will install it automatically. Now there's another file that you also need. You need to go to this website here and get the sideload launcher for Android TV. So basically just download it from here and extract it into your downloads folder and then do the exact same process. Go back to sideloader, click this option here and then from downloads install this side loader launcher here and then you're good to go once that's installed and then the last thing you need to do is make sure you've got oculus tv installed on your oculus headset because that's the base program that you'll use to run it so inside the vr headset now you'll run this program oculus tv and then basically under unknown sources you'll find the option to select the side load launcher app. And from there, you will then see the Xbox Game Pass app on the screen and then select that and bam, you are in. Now, you will need to have an Xbox Live Ultimate account for this to work. 
So basically, if you haven't got one, then you'll be able to un you'll be able to load the app, but you won't actually be able to play anything. Also, I forgot to mention you'll need to pair a Bluetooth Xbox One game controller to the app. You can find that under settings, check out all settings, and then select experimental and then you should be able to pair the xbox one controller there now it might not appear as an xbox one controller but if you select the icon that has a d-pad cross symbol then that should be the one that you're looking for so my impressions of using this app exactly pretty damn good i was very impressed with how it works now there is a bit of latency when you're playing games and if you've got a dodgy connection wireless connection or any interference and that can sort of throw a spanner in the works but i mean games like streets of rage um where on um, where there's less precision work very well but i did play halo 4 or halo odst and that worked pretty well there's a bit of delay but it's extremely playable and it looks pretty good as well i also played a bit of forza horizon 4 and that worked quite well until it kind of crashed out on me when um, my connection started dropping but generally it ran pretty well so yeah i mean it's very playable it makes a, a difference compared to playing it on a small mobile screen so it's a nice feature to have so you'll get a reasonable amount of play time but um again it's up to you if you want to play connected with a wire um but obviously that's not recommended so much with the oculus go so yeah i'm impressed with it and it's quite a cool feature to have if you're reclining in bed you can sit there and play whilst not disturbing anybody else and also you can um just chill out and play some games some uh, which look pretty good on a 2d screen i have to re reiterate that it's a 2d screen that you look at inside the vr headset but you're sitting within a vr environment and obviously you can look around that environment and move around depending on which headset you're using so yeah it's um pretty cool so yeah this is a uh, open now i highly recommend it and i think basically this is something that oculus or facebook need to really integrate as a feature into oculus quest 2 they need to do a deal with microsoft to get this actually as incorporated um as a feature because it's actually pretty damn good and it works really well okay i'm going to leave it at that i'm rob cram thanks for watching and i'll leave all of the uh, links and the instructions in the description okay i'm out of here